Hi folks, this is Corey and today I'm coming to you with a quick tip on how to host your own websites and how to get a domain completely free. You'll never have to pay for the web hosting ever. Okay, so real quick, you have to have a Gmail account in order to get this started. So what you want to do is you want to log on to Gmail and then you want to click on this little box here and then you want to go into Google Drive. And then once you're in your Google Drive, you'll see where you can create your own folders and you should have a couple of folders here already. Now if you're not seeing this, you're not logged on to Gmail properly and you have to be logged on in order to see this. If you don't have an account, it's free. You can create it real quick. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create a new folder and then we're going to name this folder Simple Site just for this test phase here. So, and then what's happened is, is you'll see it right there. Then what you want to do is you want to click this and you want to make the share process public. Now, I'm going through this real quickly because there's a whole lot of information I want to share with you guys. Um, and then click done. And then come back to the site. And then what you want to do is you want to upload your theme. Now, we're talking about HTML themes and that's in another training sessions. But basically, you could see that if I open this up, you could see that um, I've got in my libraries... I've got thousands of sites that I've built for clients. So most, some of them are WordPress, some of them are HTML. So in this case, you can only use HTML. And uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, you want to go into the HTML side of it, okay? And once you do that, you basically want to drag and drop all of the folders into there. So what I normally do is I click in here somewhere, I hit my control button, I select all of them. And then I just drag them over here. Now, Google's created this great little tool where it makes it really simple. And then you just click Upload. And then there they are. Then what you want to do is you want to navigate to this actual folder. So the way that you do that is, and I'll, it's a long process on how to explain to do that, but I'm going to keep it real short and sweet. You basically grab this ID. This is your folder ID, and there is a site called G Drives. They make it so simple. Now, they're not associated with Google, but they're kind of helping you out. So it's gdriv.es, and what you do is, is you create your folder ID, you paste it in here, and then you name this whatever you want. So we're going to name this Simple Club Theme because that's the type of theme that I used. Okay, and then you just create your free alias. So basically, it's like a URL shortener. Okay, so you can see it's Google Drive Simple Club Theme. So then you click it and you open it. So now you can see the site's up, the site's available. Now it's dragging a little bit because of my web. I've got ATT and they just absolutely suck. But you can see how it, it's responsive, so people can swipe it and it's really, really cool. Now, obviously, I haven't edited any of this information. But, you know, you can see everything works. It took us less. Now, I was talking longer than it should take. It literally takes 30 seconds to upload your theme, you know, and put everything in here and get everything going and, and all that. So, basically, that's one way of doing it. So, you'll have this free web address forever. You'll have the Google Drive hosting free forever. Now, another thing I want to show you is, is it's called gweb.io. And basically, it's a way to get your own domain hosted for you so you can name it whatever you want instead of using the Google Drive. So basically, you come in here. It's, it's free for the first 60 days. And then after that, it's $9 per year. And let me tell you, after 60 days, if you're not making profit off of that website, you probably want to take it down because whatever you've got up is not working. So basically, you come in here. You try it now. You click there. And what's going to happen is is it's connected to your drive. So it's basically seeing everything that's on your drive. So see, I've got one, two, three. So you come back over here, you see I've got one, two, three. So we click on this, and it's asking you to name it. Now you can point it to a different DNS record. You can point it to your own .com that you have. That's in a later training video. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna name it. So club theme site. Now I'm going to stick with theirs, which is .gweb.io. I feel keep it simple because here's what's happening. The good part about this is if you are doing any type of Facebook marketing where you're sending people to your landing page, okay, or your opt-in page, it already has an SSL on it, okay. It's already secured, okay. So here's the Google website. See how long it is. 
and then here's the here's the un uh, SSL one and here's the regular SSL one. Now it takes a few minutes for it to propagate, but we'll see if it's there. See, it's not there yet. So either way, it'll work. You just come back to it and there it is. So anyway, that's my tip of the day. It's simply how to host a website on your Google Drive completely for free. You already have up to five gigabytes of storage on Google anyway. So it makes it really, really easy to use. And you can see everything is cool. It depends upon what your theme is. But for the most part, you know, HTML stuff is so simple to use, so simple to edit. You usually edit it just by in your text editor, you know. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. So, guys, anyway, that's my tip of the day. If you'd like to learn more about how to host all your websites, how to build your websites, and how to get all this stuff done for free, click below on the link. I have a members training area, and it's very cheap, and we'll get you started there. Once again, my name is Corey Holloman. You guys have a great day, and I hope this was helpful.